Yo, what's up? We're gonna review High Score Girl season two. Now I was highly, no, I wasn't highly disappointed with the OVA, but I was like, really? But whatever. Continues right after that, right? First episode, I love. It's a recap of all the events that happened in the first season and the OVA, I guess. Uh, we even get to see Ono's backstory a little bit, uh, leading to the events of her meeting our main character, right? It's pretty good, actually. Um, her, Ono's older sister, which we already met from the OVAs, decides that she's not going to be, you know, the head of the family, whatever. So it falls into Ono to do all that, which is weird because I, I remember seeing more sisters of Ono when uh, she left the first time around, but I don't know. Uh, so far, apparently, her older sister is the oldest. She's only in like 19, I believe, when the season starts. So, okay, maybe they oh no, doesn't have other sisters or half sisters or something. I don't know. They could come back because you know they could do a lot of things. But yeah, we get to see Ono, and then when she falls in love with the arcade and stuff, she does a cute little slide <laughs> into the arcade, and then of course she gets good at it, right? And then it, ultimately she meets our main character. And, you know, the whole show begins at that point, right? Ono fights him, and she basically slaps the shit out of him. But uh, she fell in love with video games uh, as a way to escape, I guess, her life. Um, which is great. I love all this. I love seeing this. Um, I was happy to see this. I was like, oh, yeah, that did happen. And I'm like, damn, this fool gets fucking bitch slapped a lot in this show. And the bitch slappiness comes back. But with all that being said, of course the story has to continue on, right? Um, the love triangle is still going around with Ono, Hiraka, and our main character. Um, who is going to pick? I can't really spoil it for you guys. But it's not hard to say you know who he's going to pick. Uh, even though I love Hiraka and I love Ono, I'm like, fuck. I already know who he's going to end up with. There's no contest, and it's fun to see him get slapped, because I'm like, man. Okay, people gotta understand, guys are stupid when it comes to love. We dumb. You gotta explain everything to us. Seriously. We are dumb. And this show really hits on that really hard. Uh, and I love it. I love that shit. I love seeing it, because I've been in that situation, and yeah. It's, it's brutal sometimes. One thing that the show did bring back is uh, Guile and all the other characters intervening in his life, which is funny, actually. I loved that in the original, and they kind of took it away a bit, but now it's back, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, main character's mom is fucking hilarious. Ono's sister is fucking great. I love her, too. Um, looks just like Ono, but different hairstyle and different attitude, totally. And she speaks, you know, Ono doesn't speak. And we get a lot of awkward situations in this season, which is funny, because I like seeing these awkward situations and our main character being fucking clueless, so... Anyways, a lot of things happen this season. Uh, things are like, whoa, are they going to do shit like that, you know? And, you know, rivalries, uh, game tournaments. Actually, we get to go back to Osaka. That was from the first season. That was great to see that. And that tournament, it was great. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been a year since I watched the first season. So, yeah, it's been great, right? Um, of course, things get settled between Ono and Hidaka. Uh, between them in a fight. Not an actual fist fight, but like a, you know, game fight. Uh, our main character goes to Shibuya and hangs out there and becomes a Shibuya punk. Apparently, Shibuya is full of punks. Uh, I guess it's like if I go from where I live right now and hang out downtown L.A., or fucking, you know, San Bernardino or something where all the fucking gangsters hang out and I become a gangster. I don't know. Uh, apparently that's how it works in this world. <laughs> With all that being said, though, it's still a good season. Though, they keep repeating the whole, oh my god, he hasn't figured out that he's in love with Ono or he likes Ono. Oh my god, is this guy really stupid? When parent, again, guys are stupid. Um, and then the ending. Uh, we've seen the ending before, so I, I was like, eh, okay, whatever. I mean, it'll be cool if he visits her. But with all that being said, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, all right? It might be lower than my previous scores from previous shows, but it's just the show's kind of repeating itself, but it's still good to see, right? Well, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.